Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today we will continue the workshop for the attendance management app. And we will continue with the item in the menu. The attendee registration, location registration, and attendance logbook. All right, let's start now. Set the attendee registration as shown. Then set the detail as shown. Next set the form as shown. All right, the attendee registration is ready. Let's proceed with the location registration. Set the location registration as shown. Then set the detail as shown. Then set the form as shown. All right, the location registration is ready. Let's proceed to the attendance log book. Set the attendance log book as shown. The data is sourced from a slice. Let's check the slice setting. Set the slice as shown. The slice is ready, let's back to the view. Continue to set the address log book as shown. Next, set the detail as shown. All setting is completed. Next, let's check the format rules that we have applied in the app. Before that, let's recap the virtual column that we have added in the attendance table. The clock in location, clock out location and clocking location validity. Check the formula for the clock in location. This formula is returning a location code if the clock in GPS is within the tolerance distance. It will return a blank value if there is no location found. Let's check the clock out location. This formula is returning a location code. If the clock out GPS is within in the tolerance distance. It will return a blank value if there is no location found. 
Lastly, the clocking location validity. It returned as abnormal. If the clock in location or clock out location is blank. The column is ready, let's proceed to the format rules. The format rule is displaying an exclamation mark if the location is blank. Check the intro video for more detail. Let's check the first format rules. Set the rule as shown. Duplicate this rule by clicking the copy button. Then update the rule as shown. Alright, the format rule is ready. Last, let's check the counter for each list in the dashboard. Let's check the setting. To accomplish this, we just need to add some script in the display name. Set the display name as shown. Let's check the next view's display name. Paste the copied script and update as shown. Let's proceed to the next view. Paste the copied script and update as shown. Alright, we have completed the workshop for attendance management. Hope you guys enjoy with the video. See you guys in the next video. Bye.